Hi folks. So I've been asked a few times now about why I'm testing fans with standardised speed rather than noise. And there's a very good reason for this, which I'm going to address in this short video. But before we can even start talking about noise measurements, we need to look at what's called the noise floor. Now this term applies to the minimum background sound level of a given environment, which for me in this room at the moment is about 35 decibels. But because I'm talking, you see the sound level meter is jumping up quite high at times. Most people living in a normal residential setting will probably struggle to achieve a noise floor much below 30 decibels, which is already very quiet. Now, at best, I can get this room down to about 31 decibels, but that's only if I go around switching everything off. I have to switch off my heating, my computer, my speakers, my monitor, anything that's on standby. Now, my subjective experience of this quiet environment will probably be quite close to silent, but then I'm at a bit of a disadvantage because even very quiet, soft sounds will feel quite loud and intrusive. The next thing I want to do is I want to give you a quick example of why measuring the noise level of fans is not really all that helpful. Okay, so let's say I want to measure the performance of four different fans. Here they are in front of me. We'll call them fans A, B, C and D for the sake of argument. We're going to set them all to the same sound pressure level. 34 decibels sounds good. And immediately we run into problems. What's happening? Well, fan A has a high-pitched whine that is quite noticeable, and it does sound quite loud. Fan B has got a low-pitched hum. It might not sound as loud as the other one, but it's still noticeable, and it's different. Fan C makes an irritating clicking noise, and Fan D might have slightly more obvious air noise than the others. Now, the sound level meter doesn't give us any of that information at all. What you're talking about here is what's called timbre. And there's also something about frequency as well, because the way that the human ear works, we tend to hear certain frequencies more clearly than others. And also we might find certain frequencies more irritating than others. So it's very difficult to meaningfully quantify volume of a fan in such a way that it's applicable for everybody who might want to use that fan. And this is why I run the fans at two speeds. I run them at 1600 RPM, and that's a slightly louder, more performance-oriented test. And I run them at 1100 RPM, which is not so much about performance, but more about noise control and attenuation. So there you go. Now, I'm not saying that I'm never going to measure the sound level of fans, because there definitely is some use in doing that under certain circumstances. But for the time being, I'm going to be focusing on just the performance numbers as opposed to the noise levels. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.